बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट के विद्यार्थियों के लिए आज के वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे डिस्कस इन डिटेल एडमंड स्पेंसर्स सोनेट वन डे आई रोट हर नेम एज ए लव पोएम एडमंड स्पेंसर्स पोएम वन डे आई रोट हर नेम कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर्टीन लाइन्स रिटर्न एज ए सोनेट इन आयम्बिक पेंटामीटर एंड क्लूमेटिंग इन ए राइमिंग कपलेट एट द एंड दैट समराइजेज द प्रीवियस लाइन्स ओवरऑल द स्पीकर इन द पोएम वॉन्ट्स टू इमर्टलाइज द वुमेन ही लवस सो ही राइट्स अबाउट हर इन हिज इन दिस पोएम विच विल रिमेन अब even after when she dies emerity is a collection of sonnets and poems written by edmund spenser as suggested by the title the work contained therein are about love specifically the courtship and the marriage of edmund spenser and and his beloved elizabeth boyle one of the most well known sonnets from this collection is sonnet 75 this poem focuses on love and the immortalization of love through poetry the speaker repeatedly writes his beloved's name in the scent on a beach but he becomes frustrated because each time whenever he writes her name the waves wash it away and erase the name of his beloved in validating his efforts spencer is attempting to proclaim and preserve his love but his efforts are repeatedly thwarted the waves represent time and its descriptive ability the waves are the objects of the writer's frustration and they symbolize the inevitable end death of all things and people Spencer's goal is to garment the power of time and find a way to immortalize his love even as the waves serve as a cruel reminder that nothing lasts for ever Spencer's beloved tells him that his efforts are in vain and he is silly for trying to immortalize her since she will die at some point when that time comes she will be erased from existence just as her name was erased from the beach spencer tells her that he will preserve and eternalize her name and their love by writing about them in his poetry he acknowledges that they are immortal but his work will live on and continue to tell his story and proclaim his love even after he and his beloved die edmund spencer's one day i wrote her name is a 14 line sonnet written about a woman that he loves the sonnet is written in iambic pentameter with a rhyming scheme a b a b c d c d e f e f g g which shows the pattern of the rhyming scheme there is a rhyming couplet at the end which 
X as the summary of the previous 12 lines. The first four lines shows the fertility of life or love lasting forever, like writing in the sand. The speaker says that he does this writing his sweetheart's love in the sand, but the waves come and wash it away twice. One day I wrote her name upon the strand, but came the waves and washed it away. In the next four lines, the speaker's lady love tells him that he works in vain to immortalize her immortal thing. She points out that one day she will die, her body will fall to decay as all living things must. In the moment she says her name will be lost and wiped out as the waves erases the letters in the sand. In essence, she is telling him to pull himself together. This is the way of life and death. The author's love for this woman is so great that he refuses to accept what she said and strives to prove her wrong. Other things that are that are baser may die and wrote, but he cons insists that by writing this poem he will immortalize her soul that long after her death. Even the heavens will remember her glorious name. In this, he is now not speaking of her natural beauty, but her spiritual loveliness. Perhaps he is not promising that men and angels will remember her and she will live on. But some essence of this woman he loves so passionately will live on in him with these words. Not so let baser things devise to die in dust, but you shall live by fame. The rhyming couplet serves to summarize the poem's intent. This is the main thought the speaker is trying to share. To make understood, he claims that while the rest of the world will pass away, be subdued by the cycle of life and death, his love will allow them both to live on, live on in this verse. The poet believes that while people pass away, Words eternalize a person so that he or she may live on beyond to the boundaries that apply to most humans. The theme of immortality achieved through literature is not uncommon and in all the years that have passed since the poem's inception. Through Though we do not know her name, she will remember his love for her, which does she live on in verse. In Sonnet 75, Spencer's One Day I Wrote Her Name. Spencer believes that by eternalizing the beautiful essence of her spirituality, she will live on in the next life as will live their love beyond the end of the time on earth. So, pre vidyartyo is video mein humne discuss kiya tha the sonnet verte I wrote her name as a love poem. Hope you enjoyed this video.